Okay, so I just want to tell my um, the story of what happened with uh, uh, Ellen Abbott. She's a social worker, and she works for children of children and families of Iowa. And um, in 2010, my daughter was uh, 13 years old. Her name is Elena, and she was. I, I smoked pot. I smoked pot since I was 12 years old. And I never, and I had my daughter when I was 15, and um, that was in 1998. And I never smoked pot in front of her, never took her around drugs, barely even drank around her. And all I did was smoke pot in front of her one time just so I didn't have to hide it from her anymore because she was getting older, you know, like a teenager, and I just wanted everything to be like cool, you know. And the social worker came over the very next day. I don't know who told her. There was nobody there. There was like no self, nobody that would, it was just me and my daughter in the room. And I was just like, you know, it's nobody. I didn't give it to her. I didn't encourage her to do it. I said, you have to be an adult, you know, because your brain, and I explained to her, your brain is not fully developed to make adult decisions until you're 21 years old. I told her everything. I did it right. But because they have this big thing against it, I didn't want my daughter to be corrupt and be believing like reefer madness or anything so anyways that's why social services were in my life but guess what happened two years before that no just three years before that my daughter Jordan she was molested by Celso and we went to the hospital to the doctor who's a mandatory reporter Dr. Shaw or Dr. Sasha I don't know I call her Dr. Sasha but my mom says it's Dr. Shaw so anyways we t I took my daughter there she's a mandatory reporter and she didn't call social services nobody called social services we went to the police and my daughter said he touched her private parts and they said private parts could be nose or elbow that's what they said at the Des Moines Police Department and nobody called Ellen Abbott in 2007 so anyways I moved away from cell so finally like I had to go back and get my daughter so anyway they weren't helping they weren't doing anything because I wasn't gonna call them they would take me away like it was my fault that's what they did when Josh freaking brought Jordan out in the middle of a fight they blamed both of us. I was like, I didn't even do any. I couldn't. I did the best I could to try to keep her away from it. And he was just when got her and was like, look what you're doing. You know, and I couldn't control it, but I keep getting in trouble for these things that are so stupid. So anyways, Ellen Abbott wasn't even there. The social workers weren't even there when a child was molested. But as soon as I spoke by, who called them? How did they know? So when I wrote the prescription, like I was already like two years into my, um, well, about a year and a half into my pill addiction, you know, and then so anyways, it was so stupid. These people are so dumb. I'm telling you, like the social workers, the state, they have no idea about like separation harm or maybe they do and that makes it even more sick. What does the number eight mean in numerology? In numerology, the number eight is a symbol of abundance, wealth and achievement. In some traditions like Chinese numerology, the number eight is considered lucky, which is why it's often a sought out number for special dates. So I have to, I had to update this video because um, number, okay, so the number eight in uh, our numerology and then they have the three eights up there, but you know, they're celebrating on the eights. I just thought that was weird. But I was uh, when I was in those shelter, those group homes for children because I wouldn't go to school. Children who get taken away from their parents and go into group homes, or when they, or when children are delinquent, they go into group homes. So, anyways, I was in those places. But um, I was in China when they take when they like uh, put you in those places and put you into the court system. They call you a China child in need of assistance. And in China, it's the number for wealth and stuff, and they have just an abundance of these children just lining them up, calling them Chinas. That's what they called us, Chinas, child in need of assistance. So I just thought that was interesting that we should add that in there onto the fact that it with the eights. It just, you know, I know it seems conspiratorial, but <laughs> it looks conspiratorial. The number eight is considered the luckiest of numbers in China, and they believe the more eights, the better. The Cantonese word for eight, which is pronounced ba, sounds similar to the word which means prosper or wealth. In regional dialects the words for eight and fortune are also similar. Numerology number eight. Number eight is governed by Saturn. It is perfect for those who love to dream big. This house is perfect for those seeking wealth and prosperity. You can expect sudden financial gains are raise during your stay at a house where the number is eight or totals up to number eight. My fear is that they do it for money and just because, like, the children are a business, you know? That's what they said they run like, but they can't tell anybody because it's politicizing it and blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. Fuck that. You guys need to stay away from families and people that smoke pot. It's none of your business. You've ruined a life. You've ruined three, four lives. 
You ruined a relationship with my daughter and you don't deserve a job, Ellen Abbott. You don't deserve a job as an actress. You don't deserve a job in the CIA. And you don't deserve a job on Scorpion. You don't deserve a job on Scavland. You don't deserve a job. You don't deserve a job as Jessica Bailey with red hair or Ellen Mathers, whatever you want to call yourself. But go look at the videos and see what these people have put me through my entire life. I've gone through this with these people. Not once have they pursued a rape charge or molestation charge on me when I've been raped and molested, but they bug me for everything else. It's because I'm Native American, they know it. And they know it's provable so they can ask for more money. How much money do you need from the BIA when you're supervising over a Native American? It's automatic. I know, I know how it goes. So anyways, just so you know, that's my problem with Ellen Abbott, the social worker, and the social services, and children and families of Iowa, because children and families of Iowa is who the social workers, is the business that they go through, I guess, for the social workers to work at, to come and destroy lives, and come, I mean, these people didn't even have children, and they were telling me how to raise my three children. I've been a mother since I was 15 years old, you know? I didn't need their help. And anyways, all they do is make everything worse and more embarrassing. All they do is embarrass my daughters and make them feel like they were abnormal. Asshole jerks. So anyways, that's how I feel about children and families of Iowa.